you want this jiggle physics in your Godot game, I'm going to show you how. So it's pretty simple. First, what you'll want is essentially two nodes and a skeleton. So the skeleton, this will be, oh god, the target. And this will be, who do I call it? Partner. The thingamajig. The polygon. Okay. So once you got the target and polygon, you're gonna, shockingly enough, add some polygons. And then name them what they are. These are gonna be your images, so breast. Hold on. And then body. Conveniently both starting with B. Ah, man, my voice is always awful. Okay. Alright, you got both that set up. You select the skeleton. So for that, you're gonna drag and drop the texture. Nothing's gonna happen, don't worry. Texture. Oh. Drag and drop body. This is just a setup. So now you got that. You want to get a UV or points actually and plot it. So there is one slight problem, and I don't know if I'm just setting up the mapping wrong or if it's just because it's very buggy but I'm probably doing something wrong with this because this freaks out hard time click OK go to body do the same thing bones or no <sighs> points Make sure it wraps around pretty good. There we go. Finish it off. Now you want to adjust the position. sure everything looks understandable boop, boop. Ouch. Okay, that's all set up. Now we set up the skeleton with bones. <laughs> bones. Oh. Let's drag the polygons up here. Reminds me of a. Uh, this character reminds me of that one Gundam. The, uh. It's got the wide hips, but it's like got no legs. But it's got like a. I don't know. Alright, bone. We'll label that the hip. Label this the chest. And then we'll label this the, uh. I guess the front. Breast. And then middle. 
No, no. Yeah. And then lower. Oh, haha. <laughs> This doesn't really do nothing. It sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't. Not adjusting. Whatever. So this is the part that's going to segment the breast into the uh, applying the jiggle physics. So this end point right here is going to be that third joint. So we got to pray that this works. All right. So since it's an end piece, you have to do auto, or you have to manually plug it in. We can make that a little bit more longer. A little bit more longer. And a little bit more shorter. All right. We got that all set up. All right, set the default skeleton port. Or position, not port. Create a new skeleton stack, modification stack, add element, and then make sure it's the vehicle. Total chain of three, that's what we're going to segment the image into and then you can mess around with the wiggliness <laughs> go from farthest away to the middle or to the closest so there's all that huh oh right here's where target comes in handy Add a node, and we'll call it JB for jiggle boob. Go to skeleton, and then set the target to the silly. Now see how this is all out of whack. You're gonna have to go back, flip this on, click the it's very important that you click that, not on and off. On and off won't do anything. You have to click the undo button. Oh. Huh, never mind then. There you go. So this will natively point to JB, which it will then wiggle. Now the new problem getting the image to sync up with the chain. That's pretty simple. Hop on over to FB, and this is the part where we're going to map it to the bone. Boner. Go to lower. I guess whichever one you want to start with, so I guess back. Knock out three, one, two, three. Might as well go four, four, middle, one, two, three, four, E, one, two, three, and then go to lower. Yeah, you know what? We'll give more to the middle. Yeah, that looked good. So erase the overlap. Now the middle's too large. It's the header. 
Bowers already got that. Middle, front. Not bad. Alright. Sink, X. A little bit warped, but that's. I probably mapped it wrong. At least it stayed in position. I have a real hard time with the image freaking out. But, uh, go over to JB. And now, if you rotate it, the image will very wonkly, but jiggle. So this is still, uh, covered in errors, but and there's tons of errors, but it's the only tutorial out there, so yippee! There's the drawing. 